Hey, baby. She looks comfy. It's a little bit annoyed. She's probably put there. Hmm? Do you want to move? Seems like they kind of give her a little rub down. Like you got keep me more. She still stinks. A little bit. You're so smelly. She's so smelly. Yeah. What's up, baby? Hey guys, Hi, pause, and pause that here. <laughs> yeah, we just got back from the vet. Sad mode. Yeah, the little baby is not doing so great. She, um, <laughs> she was doing fairly well after the surgery and everything. They said, you know, not any more fluids running in her system and her, she seemed to be healing up all right. But um, she's very anemic. So she doesn't have, I guess it's red blood cells and uh, it's making her dizzy and she's panicking a bit because she's not getting enough oxygen, I guess. You breathe it from her mouth because of that. Yeah, so she's doing poorly, they said, and they're not very optimistic. And at this point, it's like 50-50 from what she said when on the phone before I went to go visit. Yeah, so we don't know what's going to happen yet with her but we're hoping and praying and hopefully our baby will be okay. But even if, if anything happens, I mean, we'll both feel better just knowing that we did everything that we could. Yeah, that's all, that's all we can do. And basically at this point tomorrow, I guess we're gonna have to take her out of the vet regardless because, well, they initially quoted our, our surgery bill on that to be like 1500 to 2000. And now it's it's pretty high. Like, pretty, pretty much double that, and still climbing the longer she stays in there. And unfortunately, we can't really we can't keep her in there any longer. We we've already we kind of crossed the limit, and we never anticipated to go that high. And so we're talking to the vet about our options. It was basically like at first it was fifty fifty. She has the anemia. She could get better on her own. She could not get better on her own. And then they also gave us the option of blood transfusion. However, I guess blood transfusions are kind of iffy with cats and they can't precisely match the blood. So it's also 50-50 for that. So it's except for it's it's like if it, if it works, she'll probably she'll probably be fine. If it doesn't, she will die. So no matter what we chose, it was 50-50 except for blood transfusions are like 350 to 400 dollars and we'd need to do multiple transfusions and as much as we love her, we just can't. So we're hoping that somehow she f is doing better by tomorrow so we can take her home, but we don't know. But we did just want to say thank you so much to everybody on YouTube. All, all you people who have donated to us, you have no idea how much it helps because we just, we couldn't have done this at all if it wasn't for Joey and trying to pay him back is you know was just going to be a horrible nightmare and every little tiny bit really 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 helps not only that i mean the people commenting as well just keeping our hopes up and kind of just i don't know helping us be a little bit more optimistic but all you do right now is just kind of hoping there's one my navi back i wonder how to my videos <laughs> I guess before this gets a bit too emotional for YouTube, <laughs> we should, should probably say just again thanks everyone for for being awesome and supporting us one way or another, and you know both Andrea and I appreciate it. And we also end the video off with what we want Nebby to end like 
or to come home back as. <laughs> but I, I guess uh, I will keep you guys updated regardless of the fact. And yeah, it was awkward doing this in front of my <laughs> girlfriend as well. But <laughs> what did you say at the end, Andrea? Peace out, Girl Scouts. As she said. Water dish. Yeah. One second. Now she won't even drink it. She's just excited. <laughs> you happy, Muffin? Yeah. Hey, baby. Small brain cat's excited for small water. <laughs> Hey, kid. Go get him. Go get him, champ. <laughs>